So hi everyone. Now let's learn what is virtual env wrapper, and we will see how to install, activate, and deactivate an virtual env wrapper environment, and we will see how to activate a virtual env wrapper environment in VS Code. So before starting about virtual env wrapper so first let's understand what's the difference between traditional packages like v and v or virtual env from virtual env wrapper so with those v and v or virtual env packages we used to connect those packages or we used to create a virtual environment for every project separately and that environment used to remain in the same directory in the projects directory and now with the new approach of virtual env wrapper we connect a virtual environment with the project so that means we create a virtual environment separate from the project and as per requirement we connect that environment with that project so the advantage of this approach is so let's say we created a new project and we already have a environment uh, which contains all the packages and dependencies which will satisfy the requirement of that project so in that case we no need to create a separate virtual environment we will ju just connect that virtual environment existing virtual environment with that project which will save a lot of time and memory and as well as you will see your project will lo look neat and clean as your project will not be cluttered with the files of virtual environment that's the advantage of using this virtual env wrapper so now let's understand what is this virtual env wrapper so these are the important commands of virtual env wrapper and I have given a link of a file from which you can download all these commands. So link is there either in the video description or video resources. You can download all these commands from there. Now let's understand how to work with virtual env wrapper. So to install a virtual env wrapper in Windows, we have to install this package virtual env wrapper dash win and this is the command. So as I have already installed, so I'm not uh, will go through all this process. So I'll just show you how to use this command. So we'll just use this command. So just use this command pip install virtual env wrapper dash win and just run it. Just enter it and your virtual env wrapper package will be downloaded in your system and by the way this command line system is the cmder if you do not have installed cmder in your system in that case you can use cmd or command prompt or even powershell will be good but if you do not have this preferably use cmd or command prompt but I'm using this CMDER package as this package gives a way better look than Windows command prompt and you can utilize both Unix and Windows command line commands in this CMDER. And if you want to learn about CMDER, then I have given a link from which you can learn about CMDER in the video description or video resources as I find this is one of the most useful tool to work while programming in Windows as you can write all Unix commands in this and that is really helpful. Now I hope you have downloaded this environment virtual env wrapper or this package virtual env wrapper dash win now let's learn how to create a virtual environment so the command is mk virtual env and whatever the name of the environment you want to give so let's say i want to create 
a virtual environment for my Django project. So MK virtual env and whatever the major package or major dependency is there of your project, please keep that in the name. That will be ben like will be beneficial whenever you will try to find out different virtual environments in your system. So for now I want to so create this environment for my Django project and the version number 3.2.9 as that's the reason we created our environment so we can keep all our version numbers intact. So it's better to always give a virtual environment name with the name of version number like this. That's then the command. So it will take some time about half a minute. So then this environment will be created. So by the time let's see. Yeah, it has created. So now our environment has created and environment is name is Django 3.2.9 and you will see when we have this environment name in our left side in the parentheses that means our environment has created as well as have been activated also and to deactivate a environment we have a command deactivate deactivate now our our environment this Django 3.2.9 has been deactivated if I want to see the list of all virtual environment in my system then I have two commands so either you could use this welcome as well as ls virtual env ls virtual env have one more advantage which we'll see just a couple of minutes so these are all the environments I have in my system and as per the requirement of my project I could connect any one of them now as I'm using this Django 3.2.9 let's activate this environment and to activate a environment command is Falcon and then write the name of the environment so now I'm creating environment Django 3.2.9 so let's use a window command CLS clear all these things from the screen now let's get back and now let's install in this environment a Django package so let's see with the freeze command do we have any existing package installed so as this command reveals if we have so whatever the packages we have installed as we have not installed any packages in the system so it will not reveal anything See, now it's empty now let's install a django package so pip install django as the current django uh, environment uh, version number is 3.2.9 so that's the reason this package has been downloaded so it's in the process of installing so once this package will be stored so with this command pip freeze we could see what is there in the package so for now let me show you some other things we have done all these commands and if you want to remove a package then we have a command rm virtual env and the name of the whatever the environment is there so i hope that is easy so i will not show you that this project gets downloaded Django package has been downloaded. So now let's see with this command again pip freeze. So you could see that now our Django package has been downloaded and this is the version number 3.2.9. And with that, other dependencies also got downloaded. 
now we know how to install and activate a virtual environment with the help of virtual env wrapper package and now we have seen all these important commands also now let's say how to activate a uh, virtual environment in vs code so for that let me create a django project let's say django admin and create this environment virtual env wrap so project django admin start project and then now let's go inside in this project And open the VS code with this command so code space dot so this command will open the VS code and until then let's use that command ls virtual env if you'll see this command will reveal all the virtual env wrapper environments but it will let us know where our all virtual environment env and wrapper environments is installed so this is the directory where all these environment is installed and now our vs code has opened so now you could see that it has taken that environment directly but as you might let's say i don't want to use 3.2.9 i want to use instead of that this environment 3.2.5 so where do i find that environment i'll go over there i'll click it over here let me make it big of that let me the phone now go to this enter enter path and go to this find and from that find go to this directory user shashank envs env and in this folder let's i want to activate this environment go over here go to scripts and then over here you will find this file python.exe select that file and select interpreter so, so this way we can activate a virtual env wrapper environment in a vs code so i hope that makes you clear how to install and activate a virtual env wrapper environment in vs code and let's say if i want to change this environment so i'll just go over there and i could select whatever the environment i want let's say instead of that now again i want to activate this django 3.9.3 environment so let's click that and it will, will activate that environment vs code now i hope by now you understand all these commands pip freeze pip freeze local file path file name and pip install dash r file path and file name because these are all the basics of a virtual environment and all these commands you can use in virtual env wrapper packages also and if you want me to explain how to use that if you don't understand then so please let me know in the comments i'll create a extension of that video which will reveal like how to use all these important command of a virtual env wrapper environment so i hope i have covered all the important aspects of virtual env wrapper so thank you so thanks guys for watching this video and please provide a positive feedback in the comment section and let me know in the comments if you want me to create a new video on any specific topic if you have learned something new please like the channel video and subscribe this channel as there will be some new video releases every week and this will be a huge support for me